I'm Anil Kumar and here is a test problem on complex numbers for you to practice. This will prepare you for pre-calculus. The question here is, solve the equation x squared plus 2ix plus 4 equals to 0. Remember, i is sometimes said as iota, the Greek symbol, is square root of minus 1 or i squared is minus 1. Okay. Now let's try to solve this equation. We have equation as x squared plus 2ix plus 4 equals to 0. Now to solve this, we can apply the quadratic formula. Let me write down the quadratic formula here, which is x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a, right? Now in the given equation, what is a? a is 1, b is 2i, and c is equals to 4. So let's substitute these values and find the value of x. So x for us is equals to minus p which is minus 2i plus or minus square root of b square which is 2i square minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 4 divided by 2 times a 2 times 1. So we get minus 2i plus or minus square root of 2i square gives us 4i square, correct? 2i whole square, right? So 2 is also squared and i is also squared. Minus 4 times 4 is 16 minus over 2. Now that gives us minus 2i plus or minus. Now what is i square? i square is minus 1. So within the square root, what I get is minus 4 minus 16 divided by 2. Okay. Let's take it or I can let's take it to the right side and further solve. So we can write x as equal to minus 2i plus or minus square root of minus 20 divided by 2. Now, let's see how to solve the radical parts. We will just continue with this. 20 could be written as 5 times 4. So we have minus 5 times 4 for 20. I'm writing like this. I mean, this is minus 1. Okay, so I'm writing them separated so that you understand how we are simplifying the next step. So minus 1 times 5 times 4. The reason to write this way is just to explain you. Now, what is square root of minus 1? Square root of minus 1 is i, correct? So, we get i here. What is square root of 4? Square root of 4 is 2. So, let me write this as 2i. And we are left with square root of 5 inside. Do you see that? Over 2. So, that's what we get. Now, we can divide by 2 and finally write down our answer. So, we get minus i plus or minus 2 and 2 cancel square root 5 i do you see that so that is that is what we get after simplifying it now in this case we have to write so that is the answer but we need to express our answer in the form a plus b i now in this particular case we do not really have a real part right so this is the complex conjugate right complex complex root so we have two solutions here so which could be written as equal to if I take let us say uh, i common right so if I take i common so I could get within square root minus 1 plus or minus square root of 5 is that okay so that is the answer if you really want to the real num number here is 0 and b is equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 5 right so let me write this as 0 plus within brackets minus 1 plus minus square root of 5 i right so that becomes the solution in the standard form i hope that helps thank you and all the best